So again, a lot of the hate that Nigerians get is straight jealousy because Nigerians walk around with a big ego, which I know because you see it in me. It's in my blood. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. I don't know what is happening, but I've been seeing this online, like nowadays, becoming rampant. And as I always do on this, my channel, there are videos that I've actually done showing Nigerians who are frustrated in other people's countries because of something that some other Nigerians went into that country to do. And now it has gotten to the extent that these countries are doing what they are banning every Nigerian from entering their country. That is how serious the thing has become. This video that I'm about to show you is an African country called Seychelles. It's an island. You know, it's like Mauritius. It's also an island. And some of these countries, to be honest with you, they are anti-black. They don't consider themselves Africans, kind of. So many a times they act like Europeans. Okay, before I say anything else, let's watch some of these videos. Let's come back and talk. Seychelles has banned Nigerians from visiting the country. And here's why. The government of Seychelles has announced a ban on Nigerian passport holders who wish to visit the country for tourism purposes. Previously, Nigeria enjoyed a visa-free agreement with Seychelles, allowing its citizens to enter the country without a visa for up to 30 days. The ban has been attributed to an increase in fraudulent activities involving Nigerians. However, Seychelles will still allow Nigerians with diplomatic passports, valid work permits or residence permits issued by the country to visit. The decision was prompted by instances of Nigerians claiming to be on holiday but staying for only a day or two, indicating suspicious behavior. Several cases of Nigerians involved in trafficking, credit card fraud, and online scams have been reported in Seychelles. The government aims to protect its border control and economy by curbing these criminal activities. The Nigerian ambassador to Seychelles is set to meet with Seychelles Minister of Foreign Affairs and Tourism to discuss the matter. What do you think about this ban? So I just found out that Seychelles has banned Nigerian passport holders from visiting the Seychelles. And as someone that is originally from Seychelles, I think I'm disgusted by this whole concept of banning another fellow African country because of the wrongdoings of a few. And I saw a video about this and the video was filled with comments from xenophobic people and anti-black people that pretty much just love the idea that they wanted to hate on Nigerians, which is just disgusting. I do understand that country should have procedures and policies into allowing a safe entry um, in regards to people from certain countries and scrutinize them um, if they feel that these people have been you know, participating in illegal activities. But that doesn't mean that everyone from that country is doing exactly that. And yet it is xenophobic and it is racist to specifically target a whole population of millions of people and say that they can't travel to your country because of what people have done in the past. And what's more crazy is like the visa process to literally travel from an African country to go to Europe is pretty much the most humiliating thing that other African nationals needs to go through, which now if they want to travel to another African country, they are banned. And as someone that is originally from Seychelles, I'm not going to get into the anti-blackness that exists in Seychelles. That's, but I think this is just wrong and it doesn't give a good light in regards to other African countries wanting to travel to Seychelles as a holiday destination. So I just finished getting dressed for dinner and I wanted to explain a few things because I believe there is some confusion, especially with my accent. I'm an American born and raised in America. I have an American birth certificate. I have an American passport. I do not travel with my Nigerian passport unless I'm going to Nigeria or Ghana. So when I arrived in Seychelles, it was with an American passport. They grouped all the black people to one side. They didn't ask nothing prior to making us go to one side. So the theory that, oh, well, Nigerians come to countries and scams is funny to me because even though I wasn't born in Nigeria, my parents are first generation Nigerian. And y'all love talking about this Nigerian scam while your governments are scamming you every day and you don't got mouth to talk about that. The last Nigerian prince scammer was a white man from Louisiana. So, so, so again, a lot of the hate that Nigerians get is straight jealousy because Nigerians walk around with a big ego, which I know because you see it in me. It's in my blood. But that does not mean that I should be abused coming into a country where I'm paying my own money. Number two, the question about suing the Ministry of Seychelles. How do y'all expect me to do that, please? Because I've seen this lawsuit thing on a lot of my questions and on a lot of my TikToks, but 
how you know lawyers can't even practice in different states they have a bar they take the bar in the state they want to practice and if they want to practice somewhere else they got to take it again so how was i going to get to seychelles with a lawyer and then sue the government of seychelles who was clearly in on this misjustice of me like come on now secondly did i pay the 10k when they told me about the abandoned hotel, it didn't seem like a veiled threat. It seemed like a threat threat. And like my dad told me on the phone, don't stir up nothing now because if they throw you in jail, what are you going to do? Look at my solo traveler story time and it'll let you know everything. Like the last thing I want is to spend time in jail. People asking about the embassy. Again, look at my solo travel story time. The embassy cannot do nothing for you, but get you a passport. The embassy is not the police. They cannot go against the laws of a country. Lastly, and this is what will add you to the block party on this page, because I don't get paid on here. I'll block you on Al Gore Internet and go on about my day. You are not going to discredit my experience on my page. You got to be crazy. One thing I've realized about racists is they love to gaslight racism like it doesn't exist. Um, it does. And you're not the core audience, so of course you don't experience it. But don't act like you don't got a racist granny or a racist uncle that you see them doing racist shit with. So, yeah, don't come on here acting like I don't know what happened. I have all the receipts because I'm a Leo and I love keeping receipts. Lastly, my insurance refunded me and I told them to go after Raffles because it seemed like a scam. Raffles called me later and told me they would pay me back if I take down any negative reviews about them. So, yeah, about that. So as I said, some of these countries, they see themselves as Europeans. They don't care if like, you are African. They don't really like Africans like that, but they are in Africa. They are part of the 54 African countries that we have. They don't really like Africans or blacks like that. You see, and as a black person, when you are traveling out there, you know, you should know, you should have this in your mind that we are not liked out there like that. So if you travel to another man's country, just try and be conservative, like do your things in a way and in a manner that you will not fall into any trouble. But you know our people. Nigeria, like right now, Seychelles, an African country has banned Nigeria, which is also an African country. Just imagine like an European country, like maybe Germany, banning maybe Switzerland. Does this even make sense? Does this even make sense? Nigerians, sometimes you hear them, they say, oh, their politicians are this, their politicians are that. But the question is, the citizens too, how are you guys also portraying yourself out there? How are you also portraying yourself out there, making at least people know that, oh, it is your government that is bad, but the people, they are very good. They are this, they are that, they are that. You see, this is where the problem is. See, in Ghana, we always say that the leaders that we have is the reflection of we, the citizens. Can I say the same thing for Nigeria? I don't want to say anything though, but in Ghana, this is what we say. The reflection of our leaders is the reflection of the citizens, the people. So maybe that is the same thing in Nigeria. Because, Charlie, right now, everybody is just trying to travel out because the country is just, just everybody is just traveling out, traveling out. Nigerians are everywhere in the world, everywhere. And when they travel to, instead, some of them, it's not all of them, though, when they travel, instead of them to just do their things in legal ways, you will see them doing illegal stuff, doing this, doing that. You saw the video that I showed you, the reason why Seychelles has banned Nigerians. They gave a report on it. So, see, we should change our attitude as Africans when we travel out. It is one thing that will help us, especially Nigerians. Some Nigerians, I will say some Nigerians. Thank you so much for watching.